The color sizzle climbing rose duo. As you look at this beautiful collection here, notice that it's just not one color of rose on each one of these, but you're getting a combination of colors and you're getting not just one of these again, you're also getting the second one, $33.84. Yeah. Now we started with 9,500 units that we could ship out. We are down to our final 3,300 for this season. Um, and most climbing roses, Philip, because Philip Philip um, is back with us. Philip Watson is back with us from Cottage Farms. Um, author, hort uh, horticulturist, you got it. Um, designer. Um, most of the climbing roses only give you one color of roses. That's that correct. True? And I love these because they've got so much character. These are what we call our chameleon roses. And look at this one. This is pinata, and you've got yellow. You've got apricot. You've got orange. You've got tangerine. All of these colors. Mm -hmm all at the same time and notice how it blooms top to bottom all the way up that's a lot of blooms these will get 10 feet tall fantastic in containers or in the ground so there's one and, and i'm not going to say it's your choice you get both no. this is handle hi handle look at all the, look at all the colors oh. this is the entire hallelujah chorus on a vine <laughs> Look at the colors it. on here. All the different shades of pink on here. If you love the pink colors, and also these are very fragrant too. These are nonstop blooms. You can have blooms this year. And what I like about them, they're problem solvers. We're gonna t you're gonna help us solve some problems in our yard in a yes, second. Yes, ma'am. But before we get there, I have to say that I am not do not think I can grow roses. So help me out with this. Are these hard to grow? Do I have? Do they, do they require a bunch of fuss? No, and, and that's the trick. Uh, roses do have a rough reputation, and yeah. for most part, they've earned it. But what we do is that we have gone out and found the roses that are disease resistant and that don't stop blooming. And one of the main things that people are worried about roses: when and how do I prune the roses? The climbers, you don't prune them they just go up. It's an absolute oh. column of color. And we talked about, you remember when I had the tomatoes on earlier? Yeah. And I said, you can get a lot of tomatoes out of a small space with that grafted tomato. Yes. This one, because it's a climbing rose, you get a lot of roses out of a small space. The same footprint that, that would be for just a shrub rose, yeah. this is now for a 10 foot column of roses. Wow. Blooming top to bottom. So show me what it's gonna come like and then and then Philip is gonna help us um, figure out where to put this, help us how to help solve the maybe some problems that you might have in your, your home. And I'm looking at the price of $33.84. How much did that, that bouquet of roses cost you the last time you got it? Oh. Yeah. How about those boutonnieres? Oh. Ooh. I'm and just saying. She's just saying. I know. We're sending out big bare root roses like this. This is the way they come. You plant them to here. These will start sprouting. Don't fertilize them until they start with all the foliage on it. And you will have blooms this year and years and years to come. It is very hard, by the way, to find the climbing roses. Oh. Because a lot of the rose companies went out of business during the downturn in the economy. And it takes a long time to develop a climbing rose. There's that handle. It doesn't get any better than that. Most times when you plant a pink climbing rose, it's just pink. This has got everything in the world going on for it and notice how beautiful the foliage is. Mm. And if you plant these as pears, because you get both of these, both of these you get in the collection. Look at all that color. Ugh. The pinata is, I mean, somebody took a stick to that one and look at all the treasure that fell out. Oh, or that just looks like a sunset, one of those Florida sunsets that I get to watch when I go down to visit my folks on the West it's Coast. It's gorgeous. So you're getting both of these for under $34. We started the season with 9,500. 9,500 units. We own, we have fewer than 3,300 units left to go around. It's M46281. Now, how do I create a photo op here? Help me solve a problem. Maybe I'm looking outside well, and having had, a family reunion. If you had a camera, you'd be taking a picture of me right now. I know. Just saying, as you would say. But if you like lots of color on either side of an arbor, these come up, they meet in the middle, and you're right there, front and center. This is where you go to get the pictures, and that's what I love uh -huh. about what you said. Is um, my grandmother planted hers on posts that were out in the middle of the yard. You know, most people think, oh, I've got to do it on an arbor. I've got to uh, do it on a trellis. She did posts in the middle of the yard, and it was just a column of color, and people are looking thinking, what is that? It's mighty pretty, but I don't know what that is. 
I love fooling people with my designs and I do things like that all the time because it's playful. Mm -hmm. You know, it interjects a personality in your garden and this, this pair will do it. Can, could I do it around a mailbox? I'm just asking. Is that possible or is that too short? No, it'll do around a mailbox. You can just cut it off at the top, but I tell you where they look best. Okay. Birdhouse post. Oh. Fantastic birdhouse post. And when I lived in Fredericksburg, Virginia, I bought an older house there and they had the old clotheslines, which I wasn't using anymore. We had those I left at the posts house. up and I grew them up on the old clothesline post. What a great idea. Because those things were in concrete and I thought, how am I going to get those up? And I thought, oh, I think I just grow roses on it. How about that? So. All right, so here's the deal. Fewer than 3,000 of these sets to go around. M46281, and I know, again, that sounds like an awful lot, but we did start the season with 9,500, so two-thirds of our quantity is completely gone, under $34, and you're getting both of these plants that you're seeing, both climbing roses that have so much color. This ombre effect is really what I'm seeing with Look both the handle and the pinata. And these are big florist quality roses. You're thinking, oh, well, I don't know if I'm going to like these or not. Well, look, what's not to like? You want big rose flowers that are fragrant. This is absolutely the way to go. Big fragrance, perfect blossoms like that. This, by the way, is that gorgeous handle. How beautiful is that? Ugh. And then you've got the multicolors, the pinata, oh, so all pretty. the treasure in the pinata, the yellow, the gold, the tangerine, Everything going on is like so that God light came down out of the cloud and said, said boom. Ah, here's that treasures. All right, $33.84. Um, close to 500 now spoken for just today. Nellie from Florida is calling in. Hi, Nellie. Welcome in. I'm Nancy and please say hello to Philip. Hi, Philip. Good I, morning. I talk to you. I've been trying to talk to you forever. Well, oh, honey, I'm glad. I'm old of you. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. So tell I'd us. I'd like to get to come down here and plant these for me. <laughs> well, honey, I would get on the plane right now if they'd let me loose from here, uh, but they've, they've got me chained to the floor here. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Because all oh, those your flowers are beautiful. I got a bunch of them. Oh, good. Thank you. Where do you live in Florida? I live in uh, Brooksville. Yeah. Where is Where that? Where is that? It's um, uh, Winky Wachee. Which side? Of, where? I mean, are we in the center of the state? Are you on the side of the, which side? Uh, let's see, I'm on the, um, uh, near Tampa. Okay. Oh, okay. I know, yes, I know that area. I've been to concerts at Tampa Stadium. I tell you, you're going to love these roses. Have you ever had climbing roses before? Yes, I have. Okay. Have you ever seen any that would see multicolors like this? No, I haven't. But I do have two trees, the trees. Yes. Um, and they're red and yellow. Oh, oh beautiful. beautiful. Well, you've Aww. got it all going on. And because I tell you what, I love a really colorful garden. And my, as I mentioned my, earlier, my grandmother had the climbing roses, but they're really hard to find. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, so. Well, Nellie, I'm so glad you were able to find them here. And thank you so much for calling. And I know how excited you were to get a chance to talk to Philip. So thank you. Yes, I am. <laughs> thank Good. you so thank much. Thank you, Nellie. Nellie. And thanks for calling down from sunny Florida. Yay. Yeah. Have, Have a, a nice day. You Thank too. You. Bye, Nellie. So I want to let you know that we started the season with around 9,500. We are fewer than, oh, now we're at 2,400 is what we have left. So $33.84 for these two. Now, one of the other yeah. things um, my, my mom struggles with, with her regular roses, she's had them for years, right. is the disease and yes. always have like little spots on the leaves. And, that that and, would be black you know, spot. Okay. These are disease resistant, but let me just tell you something in general about okay. black spot. It's usually a product of having not good air circulation and moisture stays on it. I always water my roses early in the morning, not in the evening. You don't want oh. your irrigation system either hitting the foliage of the roses. That will help cut down on those problems. But because these are climbing roses, they're up in the air. The higher up they go, the less problems you have. If you want to cover a fence with these, mm. it's just a great, great look. You know, I've got a walled-in garden, and I, I don't plant mine separately. Let me show you what I do okay. with mine, yeah. because I'm, more is more. <laughs> look uh, at them look together. At how, you're getting these two plants. Look at these. This is what you're going to have. Now, how long about will it take to get to the roses? Are we a couple years? Will it You'll take get roses the first year, but okay. they'll be this big the second year. Oh, my gosh. This is what they do. They're very quick to produce. 
And these, by the way, they're guaranteed for a full year. So that's the trick too. If you've never tried roses before, you've had bad luck. Okay. You got a good guarantee to go with it. And not just that, but our expertise of choosing the right plants for you in the first place. And Philip, um, tell me about fertil fertilizer. Which one do I need? Our uh, button flower booster specific for roses, okay. a rose bud and flower booster. You get 100 gallons worth of that, and they're great for the climbing roses. Again, fertilize them after the foliage has come out. Okay. But if you've got old tired roses at home, it's usually a nutrition problem. Ah. And I fertilize mine about every third watering. Okay, that's good it. to know. And these these are big, beautiful roses. Yes, they are, lovely, top to bottom. Lovely smell and scent and fragrance to the rose. And this is um, where we started with 9,500 units, and you're not just getting one big climbing rose you're actually getting a second one as well so that's the duo one is this beautiful pink and ah. um hot pink and some what are you doing back there <laughs> i'm back here i was just what? trying to get one and but then, i will get in there and then of course you also have the pinata which is the the beautiful sunset of the tangerine oranges and the yellows this is 33 dollars 84 start of the season with 9500 2000 is what we have remaining on this featured item on the day and yeah. as we, you know, you can check out all of our hot picks on QVC.com, yes. but this is, the, you know, because people go there and they're going to check it out and they're going to be like, oh, I got to get that. Well, Don't well, miss they out have on it. these. Don't miss out on it. If you like pink roses, that handle is about the prettiest pink rose I've ever seen in my life. And the pinata is those hot, hot sunset colors, as you mentioned, Nancy. And I love that. You're mm -hmm. looking at it, you see that it's incredible going on, but I'm going to do a little tricky thing. Okay, what because, are you going to do? Well, you know, I've got to get my namesake. Oh, I, yes, you got to get this sun patience. Those because were so I want to show you what the pink lightning sun patience looks like with the handle rose. Look at Look this. At that. Have oh, this underneath gosh. it, this going above. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this is pink, pink, pow, pow. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Holy moly. Hey, by the way, 3,000 of the sun patients already sold just, just in our show. Um, I'm just going to tell you that that's one of the plants. You're getting six. Big, huge sun impatience for what is it like thirty-two dollars or something like that? Just a little over five dollars a plant. Yes, it's indeed. Crazy, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's the deal of deals. It but is. again, and I like. I can't yeah. help myself. I have to design. I'm designing all the time. I'm always looking for perfect companions, and yeah. these these are that. Great. Um, by the way, what did you say? Would you say to me? Yes. Okay. So. Okay, thirty-two ninety-four. That's right on the sun patients. Thank you. But the roses, you're getting these gorgeous climbing roses, and I can't. I mean, it's so interesting that the climbing roses really are not able to be found, and um, not you as, just can't find them. You just them. can't find them, and you and can find them here, but in the colors, not just one color, but just a multitude of colors within the one. You it's know, it's, a, it's a ombre. It's a total kaleidoscope. You find the climbing roses. It's just a red one. It's mm -hmm. just a pink one. It's just a yellow one. Look at this. Your neighbors will say, how did you do that? Gorgeous. And by the way, you can cover up that ugly fence with it. <laughs> aren't you sick of looking at it? You are, aren't you? You can get these and they'll climb on up. And if you have like a post somewhere, I love that idea. If you have one of those you know, posts somewhere in the, in the yard, Ooh, put it around. I would like to put a climbing rose over you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 